finally, I'm going to put you in a time machine and I'm going to take you back 25 years uh, to when you first started speaking. And yes, and I'm going to ask you, now that you know all the things that you know, all your experience, all your, all your knowledge as a speaker, what advice would you give young Nick? That is a good question. I, one of the things I would say to young Nick is make more mistakes. Uh, I, I remember as an early speaker, I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted it to be right. And I felt I couldn't let down the audience or the client or the bureau. And I, it had to be uh, an, an, any little thing that went wrong. I, I beat myself up. And do you know what? I would, I would say, I, I think we learn, well, I certainly learn more from the bad things I've done. I remember my bad, but very few of them, Maria, if I, if I say so slightly, slightly, slightly boldly, I remember the, the, the speeches where I didn't hit it out of 10, where I didn't really knock it out of the park. There aren't many, but I remember those vividly and clearly as opposed to the ones that went well. So I would say to young Nick, make mistakes, mate. That's how you learn. Be brave. But I think that's one of the things that came to my mind as you asked that question. I do think also, Nick, that often speakers are much tougher on themselves uh, than um, the audience will be. And audiences, if they're with you, they're, they're quite forgiving. But yeah, no, that's really good advice to, to, you know, make more mistakes, but also be kind to yourself when you do. I'm not very good at that. You bang on. I'm, I'm not very good at praising. And, and some of the emails I get and I tell my wife, oh, here's an email. And she says, you should, I'm so proud of you. I say, yeah, whatever. Anyway, what's next? You know, and I, I, I'm not I'm not good at that. You're right. Don't lose that. I love that. Thank you, Nick. Absolute pleasure.